What's happening guys, my name is Jared, and today in the news, we're talking about unprotected sex. Did that grab your attention? I hope so, because you're in for quite a ride. I'm also gonna answer all your questions and comments from previous videos at the end of this video, so don't be a rude boy and stick around, yeah? So reports have recently come out titled, Male Birth Control Study Nixed After Men Can't Handle Side Effects Women Face Daily. I don't know, from the sounds of that title, it seems like they're saying that women are possibly greater than men. And being a masculist, I'm kind of offended. Not actually, because I didn't even know that a masculist was like a word until I actually looked it up, but it's actually the male version of feminism. Anyways, I don't really care much about the title, but I do think some people will get triggered, and it's gonna be funny to me because it's really not that serious, guys. It's just not. But that's besides the point. So there have been tests conducted over the past few years to try to find a male equivalent to the pill also known as birth control. In short, people want to have sex without condoms, but they don't want to necessarily get pregnant. And society was all like, well, why are girls the only ones that should be affected for having unprotected sex? Instead, they decided to do research into a male contraceptive that would allow couples to have sex without the risk of impregnating their female partners. Which makes sense because pregnancy is a team effort, so if you want to prevent it, it should also be a team effort. And that's where these injections come in. Now, alternatively, your spouse could take the pill, but it's no secret that there could be side effects such as depression, acne, weight gain, and who knows what else can come with birth control for women. And it turns out those same side effects can happen when men take this new injected contraceptive, which is why the study seems to have been cut short. Talk about double standards, right? But here's the good news. It seems this contraceptive was actually really effective. The tests were conducted from 2008 to 2012 and included 320 men aged 18 to 45 that had a regular sperm count and were in relationships with women. Given an injection every eight weeks, weeks, the contraceptive had a 96% success rate and it only led to 4 pregnancies. Three of them resulted in live births in which all three babies were born completely healthy. The injection is more or less straight testosterone which is what is prominently in men and is mostly made up in your private area aka your testicles. So by injecting a small amount of testosterone in your body, your little Johnsons think they've done their job which means they stop producing such a high amount of it but not only testosterone, sperm as well. And what's even more amazing is the amount of men who would actually use this contraceptive. According to the Androcene Society, despite the adverse effects, more than 75% of participants reported being willing to use this method of contraception at the conclusion of the trial. So maybe if they figure out how to reduce some of the side effects, this will become available sooner than later to the public. And maybe they'll also find a way to reduce the side effects from the pill as well. Reports do say it takes between 12 to 24 weeks for your sperm count to go back to normal, which isn't the worst thing in the world because when it comes to girls, when they're taking the pill or birth control, they have to wait a few weeks until their eggs become fertile again. So. I mean, again, it kind of makes sense. Either way, I think it's amazing to see the direction society is moving in. I mean, obviously cutting the trials short due to side effects that women have been dealing with for decades is kind of stupid, but titling something male birth control study nixed after men can't handle the side effects women face daily and trying to be little men, well, I don't think that's the best thing to do either. But like, I don't even care guys, I'm not even like triggered or offended or anything. I'm just gonna talk about it all over social media and probably post something about it on my Tumblr account as well. But that's besides the point. Now, the best way to prevent pregnancy is to do what I do and just stay abstinent. I mean, sometimes I question my existence and wonder why I was born with such a hideous exterior. But on the bright side, I don't have to worry about getting anyone pregnant, right? And yeah. So, anyways. Enough talk about sex guys, let's just start talking about your comments because you guys left me some amazing comments. In the video Charlotte and I did about Yetis terrorizing cows in Siberia, Jason Mims said, I read the title too fast and thought the Yeti was terrorizing clowns. It's funny you say that because while we were shooting the video, I actually remember saying, Yetis are terrorizing clowns. And then I started laughing because that's not the case, but it does look like clowns. Master Chief said, are you not entertained? I enjoyed watching these guys do funny stuff. Thank you Master Chief, I'm a big fan of you and Thanks for killing those aliens in Halo. As Marath Sanchez said, you guys working together are so funny. I love watching you two. Well, thank you so much. I like work with Charlotte. She hates work with me, but it's like a love-hate relationship, so I guess it works out in the end, right? And finally, Russell Westbrook said, y'all make me laugh a lot, hashtag road to one milli. Well, thanks a lot, Russell. I appreciate that. I never liked Kevin Durant anyways. I don't know why he left your team, but you keep doing you, and I'm sure the OKC will be good all season long, because. You support our channel, so now I support you. Even though I know it's really not you, but still. Anyways guys, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, you gotta drop me a comment down below with all your thoughts, questions, comments, really anything you have to say. And I'll possibly answer it in the next video. But we do check all the comments, so either way I will see it. So make sure you say nice things, because I don't like being hated. Anyways, peace guys.